this is a quick tutorial on how to install Mahara 1.4 on MAM. So first you need to go to Mahara.org or just search Mahara in Google and then on the first page you'll see a download link for 1.4 and then there's um, the latest versions on the right side and just open any of the archive folders so I'm just gonna download the zip which I've already got in my sites folder which is downloaded here and once you've extracted it you'll get this folder and what you need to do is just copy the htdocs folder and drag it into your htdocs folder inside of mam and paste it in and just rename it um, whatever you want to call the subdirectory which go to Mahara so let's say you want to call it portfolio so it's basically the normal local host link but it says portfolio in the subdirectory then that's what you'd do so let's try it yeah. So I'm just going to rename this. Portfolio. And then you just need to copy this file and rename it. and just remove the parts with the dash and after the dash so you're just left with a config file <clears throat> and then you just need to open that in a text editor and fill in all the details so if you're using MAMP it'll be a MySQL database so you need to replace the Postgres 8 with MySQL 5 and before you fill the rest of the details in you need to create a table so just go into PHP MyAdmin and on this screen just change the first um, drop down box to UTA, UTF-8 bin and make sure that the other selection is the same and just give the name to your database which you'll recognize so I'm going to call this portfolio as well and click create and then just fill in the rest of the details so I fail to um, text editor so db name portfolio and then the users normally just root and the password is root and then your db prefix it can be anything but it's best just to go with the default mh underscore which just represents the software's Mahara and then down here on line 59 where there's a commented out variable line you just need to delete the comment and replace this with directory which you've got Mahara in And then just change this upload directory to what I'm about to write.
and you can name your data directory anything you want so I'm just going to call this um, just going to do that I'm going to rename this directory um, the data directory where all the stuff goes which needs to be somewhere that isn't accessible with the web I'm just going to call that portfolio data Make sure there's no um, forward slash on the end, and fill in a contact, which I'm going to use a fake one, obviously. Um, so just that, and that should be all okay. You just filled out all those details. You just need to save it and go back to your folder and back into MAM. Just make sure you're in the directory that's just outside of htdocs and create the data folder you just mentioned in the text file. So this would be portfolio underscore data. Then you just need to go to. Um, I'm just going to go to my old installation here. And go to the link you mentioned in the text file, which is localhost, then the subdirectory, which is portfolio. And then it'll take you to the install screen. And you just click install. It'll take about two minutes for it to install everything. And it'll just let you know when each which each of these on this list of install items is done. and once every one of these items is ticked you'll get a message at the bottom which tells you to continue so everything's been installed and if you've got magic quotes on which I have um, it's, it just gives you a warning message every time even though I always leave it on anyway because this is on a, a install sample so you just need to Set up a password. And just put another email in again. This is the email tied to the admin user. Could be the same as the one you provided for contact, but it don't necessarily need to be. Then click submit and everything in is installed so that's it basically um, although for actually putting it online you need to follow similar steps but just be aware of the data directory being in outside of the web accessible areas and that's it